Good evening. It took pressure from the mayor, but Metro Schools has now stopped using a controversial technique for testing for toxic lead in school drinking water. That follows a News Channel 5 investigation that revealed the district's own tests may have actually masked the real extent of the contamination in Nashville schools. That investigation was led by our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams. And Phil, this is a major development. Indeed it is. For months, Metro schools had denied there was anything wrong with their tests, even after our top national expert told us those test results were garbage. So we took the issue to Mayor David Briley. What's emerged is a testing protocol that the mayor's office believes could be among the most protective in the nation. What we felt our role was, was to sort of get people to, to the table make them focus on it and concentrate on it, and we pushed it across the finish lines. Mayor David Briley stepped in after our investigation discovered that Metro Schools was testing for lead using a protocol that washed away much of the evidence before samples were collected. It settled some. You can see the the crud there. Maintenance worker Joey Combs brought us water from a school that the district's test had shown was clean and Combs had a recording proving that workers were being ordered to flush out the pipes the night before the water was tested for the toxic metal. Start in the kitchen, leave everything turned on, the showers down in the locker rooms, locker rooms, football locker rooms, leave everything turned on. One of the top experts from the Flint, Michigan water crisis told us that Metro's test results were junk. You know, you got to applaud people for doing the testing, but frankly, those results need to be thrown right in the garbage. What we did was make sure everybody understood what the best science is on this front to make sure that we were testing in a way that was going to get an appropriate reading of what a child might be exposed to um, if they walked into the school and drank from the fountain. Under the plan worked out with the mayor's office, Metro Schools will flush all water lines after extended breaks as a preventative measure. But the district will stop using what's called pre-stagnation flushing the night before samples are collected for the lead tests. The plan calls for random sampling of 10% of all drinking and food prep outlets every year, and it continues to set a target lead level of five parts per billion or lower. That's the same standard that the FDA has set for bottled water. We feel like it's going to be very protective, more protective than what the state is going to require. In fact, the mayor's office ran the new testing protocol by the same expert we consulted getting a full endorsement. As to whether it took a hard sell to get Metro schools to stop flushing the pipes right before it tested, Bradley had this to say. You'd have to ask them how hard a sell it was. I mean, we, we just were persistent with it. As a result of a new law that re requires every district to test for lead beginning next year, the state is developing rules for how those tests are conducted. If you want to see how Nashville's plan and what it looks like, just go to newschannel5.com. And of course, we'll keep watching. All right, thanks so much.